Whatever you begin to believe, if you believe it enough, it becomes your reality. It's never been done before, and that's the excitement of this. It is utterly impossible. This is actually climbing Everest. I'll predict any one of you are going to make it. You're risking your life. Eh? We've been working on this for more than two years now. Now it's kind of the implementation stage. The three of us are going to be walking from Robben Island to the mainland along the ocean floor. The person thinks eight kilometers, what's eight kilometers? Well, underwater, kind of like this with currents, a lot of dangers. The risk factors are huge. Under these conditions, I mean, everything's going against you all the time. It's just getting worse. The biology is really limiting here. But you've added all these layers of, sort of complexity, you know, the rebreathing and the cold. Yeah. And, and then you've got this very threatening environment that you're in. Yeah, you know, eight hours diving is, is a long time. The risk factors are cold, hypothermia, and then also um, the mixed gases. The scariest thing at the moment, when we're underwater, there'll be a point where we can't come up. So if something goes wrong, we're stuck at the bottom and the medical team will actually be coming to us. If your stress levels spike, your metabolic rate goes up, your use of oxygen and gases go up. Chemically, you have to take time to come up. If you take a can of Coke and you, you shake it and then you open it, that's what would happen to your body if you were to rush to the surface. This is a touch of terrifying. The massive risk is getting closer to the, to the mainland. As we start getting shallower and shallower, you can have a wave and suddenly the wave is down and you are two meters close to the surface. That scares me a lot. I've got a sun and I've got a heck of a lot of work to do for this planet. It's a very real chance that we could die. You know, the team's more than 100 people now. Medical, uh, diving, sea rescue, navigation, and it's all those components that come together. The seabed we've mapped already with full bathymetric survey, so we know exactly what the terrain looks like. The challenges are huge, whether it be on the surface, whether it be in the water. It's like walking on the moon. Just breathing is gonna be a mission. This is the ocean, anything can happen. I believe that if you dream big, plan well, minimize risks, nothing's impossible. For me, it's the journey. It's getting all those really, really clever people and brave people that really want to make a difference. And trying to take the best things in our past into our future.